10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have ignition. 2, 1. And liftoff of the final United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying NROL-70 for the National Reconnaissance Office and closing Delta's six-decade legacy of excellence in space. Or is that mid power level? Or and starboard strap on, still operating at enhanced power level. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent Your data. Parameters look good. Like control surfaces look good. And we have fired the isolation pyro valve on second stage reactor control system. First step in readying that system for operation. And you look good. And we pass through Mach 1 and Mach 2. Rumble strips there, everything looks good. All three strips operating as expected. Operating as expected. Everything looks good. And we fired the pyro valve, pressurizing the reactor control system on the second stage. Pressure's coming up. Everything looks good there. What we're looking for is going to close loop guides. Up in three or four seconds. And we've started close loop guide via maneuvering as expected. All three engines continue to look good. And we are three minutes to Corbico. And the vehicle is now one half its lift off weight. All three engines operating normally, everything looking good. And the vehicle is now 29 nautical miles in altitude. Uh, 64 miles downrange, traveling at 5,300 miles per hour. Everything continues to look good. And we've just passed through the Carmen line, reaching 100 kilometers in altitude. Everything looking good. Two minutes to Corbico, coming up on throttle down on the strap-ons. And we've begun throttling down the strap-on boosters in preparation for cutoff. We've now achieved min-power level on the strap-ons. And cutoff. We have cutoff port and starboard boosters coming up on strap-on. And we have strap-on separation. Disturbances look good. Throttled up the core booster. We're now at EPL on um, the single stage booster. And we've re enabled steering following separation of the strap ons. Everything looking good. We just heard confirmation of port and starboard booster jettison. We have about a minute and a half until we reach our next and mission event booster, booster engine power. on the RL10. One minute to Corbico. Let's see, yeah, housing temps respond as expected on the RL-10, and we've started LH-2 boost phase chill down. Housing temps responding as expected. 
flight control disturbances are small, and the core RS-68 continues to operate as expected. About 20 seconds to our next mark event, throttling down the core booster in preparation for BECO. And core booster is throttling down, coming up on a booster engine cutoff. And we have BECO. Cut off on the booster, everything looking good. And state operation occurred right as expected. NEDs have deployed. And we have pre start, start, and full thrust. RL10 is up and running normally. Everything looking good. Enabled steering of the second stage. Second stage operating normally. Coming up on bearing separation. About 10 seconds away from fairing sep. Five seconds to fairing sep. And we have fairing separation. Disturbances look good. Upper stage is operating normally. And once again, steering has been re-enabled after the separation event. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus six right minutes and 55 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Rob Gannon confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. While the mission has just begun, we did just see liftoff of the last Delta rocket. Here's ULA President and CEO, Tori Bruno. Well, good afternoon. A lot of you know that the Delta IV Heavy is, of course, the most metal of all rockets, setting itself on fire before it blasts into space. But I also want to talk about its tremendous contribution to our nation, to exploration, to national security. The Delta IV Heavy still today flies missions that no other rocket can fly. Soon Vulcan will pick up that mantle and we're going to retire this venerable rocket that has made so much important work for our country. And I want to thank everyone who has been involved with the Delta IV Heavy. We have many employees who are here for the very first Delta IV launch who are still here now for the last Delta IV launch to send off this great vehicle into its well-earned retirement. Thank you all. Hi everyone, I'm now joined by ULA's Launch System Director, Bill Cullen. Bill, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me, Andrea. Um, we just saw a really magnificent launch for the last time. Um, this has a little bit of a special meaning to you, is my understanding, because you started your career working on the Delta program. I did. So tell us a little bit about what this experience means to you. Well, so it, it is bittersweet, yeah. but, but it's 